Well, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another Tenerife vlog. Something a little bit different today. A house come out in the news recently that Uber has started up here in Tenerife, the taxi service. It's a bit of a cloudy day. I've got to go into Las Americas and take a shirt back and meet up with Laura and her family. So I thought, why not for research purposes, give Uber a go. <clears throat> Now, one thing to note is, uh, although it has started, it is only the Uber Black service that has started over here. You ha cannot get the regular Ubers. So this is the more premium Uber service, so it is going to be more expensive. We're going to see if it's going to be worth the price difference. I know roughly to head into Las Americas how much it would be to the Safari Center from here. And uh, I've, I've seen how much the Uber Black is going to be. It is considerably more. Is it worth it? They are meant to be these nice Audis, so we'll see what turns up. And uh, give it a go, I'll show you the app, how it works. It could be useful for you. We are seeing a lot of taxi ranks at busy times empty, so it could be worth having the Uber app on your phone. You might pay a bit more, but you're gonna get a taxi a bit quicker. So we'll show you all of that. I'll show you how it works. I believe from the app there that I can see uh, you can pay cash as well. So I'll be checking that out because that's how I'd like to pay just to test it out. I think in the UK, you can only pay by card. If that's correct, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to order one now. I'll show you the ordering process. We'll get down into Las Americas. Uh, I've got to take this shirt back to Hugo Boss and swap it for a bigger size. And then uh, we'll see how we get on. So it does look like a bit of rain's going to move in. So not a bad idea to get a taxi. I would normally drive. Obviously, I've got my car rental here. I've got loads of cars. So I always drive around. I don't really drink. But I just thought for research, a lot of people asking about Uber, how it works. Is it expensive? Is it worth it? I just thought we'd give it a go. So let's go over here. We'll just order one from outside the supermarket. Get a ride, see how long it takes as well. It's going to be interesting to see. Let me know your thoughts. Has anyone tried it yet? If they have, give me a shout. Let me know what you thought of it. But everyone that I see, they're all really busy. Everyone that drive, people are saying on Facebook, oh, they're quiet, they're not going to last long. But when I see them driving around, they have got Uber on the side of them. They all seem to be full and got people in. So people are paying it. So let's have a little look on the app, see how we get on. Let me show you the app and how it works first. I already had the Uber app, so that's the first thing you'll need to do is download it for free in the App Store. Now it can see exactly where I am. You do have to activate uh, the location so it can see that I'm by the La Camina. So that's quite accurate because that is the supermarket behind us. Uh, and we want to go to Hard Rock Cafe. That's what I put in. So you just put in the search where you want to go. Let me go back and do a different search. So you can just put in anything you want from your current location. So for example, let's see what Tenerife South Airport is. There it is. So to the airport, coming up is 37 euros. Now that's not too bad. A normal taxi from here would be about 26, 27. So only 10 euros more to ride in something nice. It does depend on the time of day. Let's go again for Hard Rock. Just wanna to go to the middle of the Safari Center. That's the easiest way, Hard Rock Cafe. Now that's coming up at 16 euros. You can also order a regular taxi on this as well, which is just on the meter, which is what I'd normally get. I'd normally walk down to the taxi rank and jump in one of those. But I want to give this a go. I want to see. It says he's eight minutes away. Confirm black. Pick up here. Yeah, that's where I am. Confirm the pick up. How would you like to pay? Okay. Ah, okay, so we do have to go with paypal or credit card so bear that in mind you're going to put my card info in so you can't do cash it seems it did say cash before so uh, let me jump on this and put in our card information and i'll be right back got to be careful putting this okay, in okay so i've put the card information in it's uh, just acquiring uh, a driver then it does obviously there we go so it's gonna confirm everything 16 euros you can split the fare and ride with someone if you want but it does keep you updated on the status of where it is they i think they've found a driver so it's going to keep track you can look at the map and see where your uh, your car is so it's saying i'm going to be dropped off by 1350 it's 1334 okay so there we go locating your driver it does keep updating which is nice i will keep you in the loop of how we get on it shouldn't be too long there we go we've got our driver it's an Audi A6 that we've got. He knows English and Spanish. Fantastic. So he's on his way to pick us up. And we'll, we'll see, is this going to be worth 16 euros? Uh, card or PayPal you have to put in. Uh, so do be careful, obviously, putting your card in. Uh, the, I trust the app and everything, but obviously where you are, you've got to be careful putting card details in.
Now, as we wait for our taxi to arrive, which is just gonna be in a couple of minutes, this gives me perfect opportunity to talk to you about NordVPN and how I protect myself online when putting card information in, just like that, whether I'm on different Wi-Fi's, different 3G, 4G networks, I've just been on a cruise, I've been in all kinds of different places with different Wi-Fi networks. I'm gonna to talk to you about how I protect myself and how you can as well for just the price of a coffee. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what is a VPN? A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and what that does is hide your internet traffic, encrypts it, and also hides your IP location address as well. So for the likes of me over here, I can change my internet IP address to America, UK, all around the world and get different services on my streaming, on the TV. I can change my location and get access to shows that are normally only on in America or don't come to the UK uh, quite as soon. The main big feature for me is the online safety. So I have had uh, over the years various people try and hack into different accounts. That is all protected. For me, in work here as well, I can, can pr protect my business. I've got business emails on the computer there, business files, personal details. I feel like that is all nicely protected. No one can hack in and see what I'm doing. But for me, you've seen me all over the place on the channel. I've just been on a big trip on a cruise in Florida or in various different cafes in the Caribbean, logging onto all these different Wi-Fi networks where I don't know if they're safe. I don't know who's watching my online activity. They could be phishing. They could be downloading data, stealing my passwords. So for me, that was very important to have NordVPN on board to protect all those services, protect what I was doing, uploading YouTube videos. I felt very protected, but also on some of those networks, I managed to bypass a few settings and get faster upload speeds as well. So you might be in school, you might be at work or in a Wi-Fi network that's very restrictive. NordVPN will bypass that and get you the maximum speed. So you can be a gamer, you could be a business owner, you can be just chilling at home and want access to better shows on TV. But the protection is there. It's nice to have, you do feel a lot safer. Even apps as well can leak your data. By having NordVPN running in the background, it protects you from all of that and protects that data. So to get your NordVPN, all you have to do is go to nordvpn.com slash nightstrider. The link will be down in the description. Click that and you will get an exclusive deal one month for free on top of that as well. Don't forget they have got their 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it and see if you like it. I'm sure you will. There's so many features and so much protection as well. So it's been a few minutes now and we can see exactly where he is. He's three and a half kilometers away. Shouldn't be too long. It does give me the registration of the car as well. Uh, he's got five star reviews. So you can leave a review on here as well. You can add up some different pickup notes. So you could say I'm waiting on the bus stop or you can give something specific if you want to. You can also click this and share your live location if you were moving. Maybe you were starting to walk. You could let them know. But uh, so far, so good. I do like it. Uh, you obviously you're paying a bit more but so far i quite like the service i mean i think i could have ordered it while i was in the house just before i left and timed it so i came out while the taxi was here you obviously you can do that save time that way if i wanted to come out and get my video started but if i wanted to if i was still getting ready i knew i was going to be ready in five minutes or so i could just order the uber and then walk out to it and here it would be waiting for me so you can save time that way but I think it's more the reliability, knowing that you're definitely getting a taxi. I could walk down the hill there and there might not be any taxis. It's quite hit and miss uh, at the moment, especially at busy times in Tenerife. So I think I think it's going to do well, personally. A lot of people will say, oh, we don't like Uber, we don't like this, don't like that. They have all been given an opportunity to join. I know a uh, hundred or so drivers have already signed up to Uber and will work with Uber and the uh, regular taxi service as well. They're going to do a bit of both, so... There's certainly opportunities there. The island needed more taxis either way. Whether it's going to be worth this extra price, though, that is going to be the big question. Is it going to be worth... I know normally from here to Hard Rock, today, this afternoon, middle of the day, would normally be six or seven euros. So we're paying 10 euros more to be driven by Uber in this luxury taxi, this Audi A8. So let's see. That's a normal taxi going by there that you'd normally have. So you normally have like your Skodas, things like that. They are still nice and clean, the taxis. But it's going to be interesting uh, to see whether the car and the ride is worth the extra money. Do you think it's going to be? Let me know in the comments before we even get in it. 
Well, we should be starting to see him very soon. He's just coming down the road. Hasn't been too long to get here. Here it is, I can see by the number plate, 0480LZZZZ. Here it is, so jump in our next luxury taxi. Get on the way. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, there we go. Thank you, you too. Gracias. Sorry. Yeah. I saw. Gracias. Okay, there we go then. So we are down now in Las Americas and the Uber was good. Um, I liked the car, it was uh, a nice Audi A8, air conditioning was nice, nice music, driver was friendly. Um, he did take the wrong route, it wasn't wrong but it was a bit more of a detour, it wasn't the most direct route, however, normally if I was on a meter that would bother me, but with it being Uber and the price is set, it doesn't matter, because the price is set, I'm paying 16 no matter what route he takes. So normally I'd have been a bit like, oh, he's just trying to run up the meter, but with that one, it didn't matter because the price is already locked in. And um, presume that just charges my card now, job done. You're not gonna worry about cash or change or anything. Was it worth an extra 10 euros? Mm, I'd say if it was busy and you couldn't get another taxi, definitely. If you want something a bit more luxurious, probably yes. Uh, more of like a, I don't know whether it'd be more of a personal service, more of a, you know, nicer car to pull up to your hotel in, things like that. But did it get me here any quicker or any better particularly than a normal taxi not majorly so pros and cons really not a huge difference let me know what you would rather go for the car was nice but was it worth an extra 10 euros from my journey probably not do i think it's still a good addition to the island yes i think it's more options some people do want more luxurious taxis so we now have that on offer people do want to be a bit more uh, secure people get worried about walking up to taxi banks stood in the heat stood in the sun they know they can go on the app and get their car right there waiting for them so i think there is a market for it will we see it boom on the island only if the prices come down to what the normal taxis are charging anyway as i mentioned the other taxis are still nice they do keep them all clean a lot of them have got leather seats things like that so yeah i think if you want to arrive at the airport and know your car's there and you're getting a nice big Audi A8 and it's going to have a good boot space and you're going to get to your hotel and a bit of luxury, it might be worth the extra money. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Don't forget, you've still got a fantastic bus service over here in Tenerife. You can also rent a car. Um, so you've got more options. I don't see any problem with having more options available. It's not just more of the same standard taxis. It does add more of a luxury service, which people might want. But as I said, in busy times, the taxi ranks are empty. So the more taxis, the better. But do please let me know your thoughts in the comments on that. I'm now gonna take this back to the Hugo Boss shop, which I think is the Hugo Boss one, just further down around the corner. So we'll wander around there. I just wanna swap the size. I've got an extra large, but it um, doesn't quite fit with all the uh, cakes and treats I've had on the cruise ship. So uh, I need to swap it for, oh no, I've got a large, I need an extra large. So hopefully we can swap this. Uh, I love the share, so I'm going to try and get the exact same one. I'll show you when I'm in the shop. And then we're going to meet up with Laura's mum and dad, maybe have a little drink. I think they're up in Harry's, but I want to get this shirt done first. Then we'll go up and see them in Harry's and uh, have a little look at the Safari Centre. It's nice and warm, but the clouds have moved in. There's a few spots of rain on the windscreen on the way. A little bit drizzly. It's meant to rain a little bit tomorrow as well. I'm hoping not. A few of the tourists will be disappointed. But right, next on the agenda is to get this shirt done but no I, I quite liked it I thought it was good but uh, was it worth the extra money tough question that tough question so just as we walk there's one other thing I want to mention uh, with Uber and that is that um, with that price guarantee I think that gives people a lot of comfort a lot of people don't like the unexpected 
and with the other taxis sometimes you can not know what to expect with the prices you don't know exactly what it's going to be some days you can do it and it's 10 euros for a journey the next day you can do the same journey and it's 12 or 13 so i think having them guaranteed is going to be a little bit more comfort for people okay so there's two hugo boss shops in las americas i think it is this one uh, where the shirt's from so let's go in and swap there's funky designs on the shirts there very funky jumper that is a bit bright for me there so this was the shop and uh, have got the extra large in it as well thankfully so this is perfect now swap it job done so to give you a bit of context about the hugo boss shirt i have swapped it into an xl which i made up with because i love the t-shirt it was actually a gift from some friends john and alicia uh, they were over here on holiday while we were away so we missed them unfortunately uh, but they did get me a nice gift but uh, unfortunately with as i said the amount of food i ate um, some, some of the sizes in, in Hugo Boss do vary as well. Some of them are a large, some of them are XL. Depends on the fitting. But I loved it. I just wanted the next size up, which I've got it, so I made up with that. Right, let's go and grab a drink at Harry's then, which is where they are. Hard Rock hasn't quite opened yet, which is why they've gone for a Harry's cocktail. We'll uh, have a little look see. See if we find. I don't think I'm going to be drinking, but I'll have a little uh, Diet Coke with them, I think. See what they're up to. They might be on the lash. Okay, well, I found Laura and the family in Harry's. How's it going, Karen? Hi, oh, it's oh, going very well, thank I noticed you. Colin is missing. He's at the bar already <laughs> yeah, getting more drinks. Already. I see you've already had a few, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. What have you been we've having? Some fruit there. It smells apples. fruity over here. What are these? Fruit daiquiris. Fruit daiquiris. So fruit daiquiris. Strong. Strong. Daiquiris. Strong. You feeling it? We'll see what it stands up. Fancy a little swim in the fountain over there. <laughs> <laughs> I can make it. You also saw a few shoplifters a minute ago as well, didn't you? Yeah, we just watched them and we just yeah. got away. They were, Couldn't get they them. were just yeah, too fast for the shoplifters. Ran out the shop, ran out Stradivarius with something, I think, didn't they? Yeah, Same but not thing, me. Yeah. 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 I mean, not me. It's not Stradivarius, it's that expensive. But still, still though. the point, still. isn't it? Still. You've yeah. met a few people along the way this morning. Yeah. I've been in work. Laura, I sent Laura home after an hour. Yeah. You had a nice breakfast. <laughs> nice breakfast and we've had a nice walk all the way from ours. All nice. the way down to me, yeah. yeah. Some bits. Well, I got an Uber down here, it was good. It's all right. Cheap yeah. or expensive? It, was, it wasn't cheap. It was no. 16. It's normally about 7, isn't it? So, so nearly double, double, yeah. In a way, yeah. It was a nice car, but it's 50-50 it's as to whether it's worth it or not. Yeah. It's a tough choice. So what are you ordering now, then? What we what we having now? Pina coladas now. now. Right. Five pina coladas in here, and then that's probably get another pint really. And then what's across to Hard Rock then? Is it for a, you like your Moscow Mule in well, there, don't you? The, the, the sun terrace is open till five. It's a bit late, isn't it? That's the terrace over there, well, just over there on Hard I said, Rock. said, just on our first round of drinks in Hard Rock, that would have been the staff member paid for. Yeah. Just in our drinks, our first round, never mind second, third, or fourth. And whoever else is going to come up there so yeah strange you think they'd be serving some snacks up there as well maybe yeah. but it's all it's staff shame. isn't it yeah so you've got two pina coladas yeah. on the way <laughs> we'll catch up with you in a little bit and see how you're feeling then yeah. after another one <laughs> <laughs> well he's appeared with his beer you feeling a bit there colin happy now how, how many of them have you had? Just one? Just the second one. Yeah, this, these are on two cocktails here, you need to catch up. Yeah. Should be on like your fourth pint now. No. Rum next? No, no, leave that to tonight. Gin? Tonight. I see Colin's taking it easy. I'm taking it easy, I'm not <laughs> <slow>. <laughs> Cocktails are not taking it easy. They are. Is it a decent pint? Nice pint, yeah, not as nice as the one yesterday. We were uh, Madri on draft. Madri on draft, nice. nice. Dad likes that. Yeah, it's nice. So what's that? It's not a copper bag, Dorada. Yeah. How much was that, do you know? Cheap compared to England? Um, yeah, it is, yeah. Even in Harry's up here, because it's not the cheapest up here, yeah, is it? But... It's nice up here, though, and it is nice good quality alcohol. You've got nice people watching. Yeah, yeah. Well. Well, it's good views it's down there. Nice. Yeah. Get, get to watch people robbing shops and stuff. Shops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So, you finished your prank, Colin. Are you going to have one more? Or would you, where would you rather be? Back home working? Doing a bathroom? Don't work no more. Maybe be tired now. <laughs> doing a little boiler repair? Yeah. Or chilling here? Oh, that's a silly question, isn't it? That's chilling here. So, on that note, are you going to have another? Why are you going to buy me one? <laughs> I'll buy you a prank. I'll have another one then. Now, the, the other question is, though, you're all right on the pranks. Is uh, Karen and Ka Karen and Laura going to have another one? That's a risky question. I might have an amaretto diet no, Coke. Right. Yeah, I might have a tea Maria. Oh, as we said, Laura and I have not stood up yet. <laughs> well, probably best you don't for a little while. <laughs> I'll have to order an Uber to pick us up just over there. Yeah, yeah. Roll you out. <laughs> so, a Tia Maria, a Disarano. Yeah. Are you getting something stronger, Colin, or are you well, staying on the pints? You don't want a gin? No. That's your cheeky Too gin now. Gin. What time's suitable for gin? <laughs> and what about rum after seven, seven as well? Yeah. So before seven is strictly pints. Yeah. All right, so kind of interesting. Yeah. I wonder if anyone. I drink tea anytime. <laughs> yeah, anytime. You're anytime as well, Laura. Any <laughs> drink, anytime. Yeah. Right. Well, let me know in the comments. Is it beer only until seven? I think my dad would probably agree with you on that one. Yeah. But then he can't do beers in the day either. He'd be in bed now. Oh yeah, if he went home after a few beers, he'd be in bed. Yeah. That's a sad thing. I have spoken to Paul. I think me and Paul should have a week on our own. Yeah, you and... It'd be very messy. Just a bit. Just a bit. Colin wants to do a week alone with Garvey. Yeah. I think it would be nuts. <laughs> Karen says no. My mum says no. Dad and Colin say yeah. Yeah, so in the comments, folks, could me and Garvey have a week on our own? That would be... Oh, man, you're have to be I don't think it'd be a week. It'd have to be a weekend, maybe. Yeah, you'll be no. designated babysitter. Slash <laughs> getting started for two, three days. Oh boy, no. I don't know where you'd end up. What you'd end, you'd have to have a few hungover breakfasts. Well, I started on me sun stag now. We started at eleven in the morning. In the morning. Right. I'm still going at half past eight in the morning. I had two and a half hours sleep, and we started again. Oh no, no, dad wouldn't have that. You'd be on your own then. Dad would be in bed for about a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, so because the England match was on, we were in Benidorm. So we got home at about half past eight. Yeah. So went to bed. Day. Yes, went to bed at half past eight, quarter to nine. I was up at 11. So yeah. breakfast and we started drinking at half past 11. And we went through again to seven in the morning. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Benidorm, did you like it? No, horrible. Not fussed on Benidorm? I didn't like it at all. Too many, too many young lads want to fight each other. It was, oh, right. Didn't like it. No. Even in the daytime? No, it was just, the old town was okay. Right. So that was very nice, very quiet, a lot of families. Yeah. But the, where the, the strip is, it's a lot where of Where the young party lads section and, is. Didn't like it. I no. wouldn't go back. No. Like no. Okay. Maybe when it, if I was 40 years younger, yeah. Yeah. Not at my age, no. All the young lads enjoyed it, but I... So you'd be better in the old town. I've I'd never be been, but yeah. But the old town's very nice. Yeah. Um, no, too many young lads, and I've seen a lot of fights while we were there. Just young lads fighting each other. And oh, jeez. It's like we've seen, if I said, four to five every night. Jeez. <laughs> you only see the odd one. We thought Veronica's yeah. was bad. You only get the odd one in Veronica's, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. No, it was because the first night we were there, we were only there half an hour and some lads were starting fighting over, over the way where we were. Jeez. So I didn't like it. No. no. I didn't like it. Not fussed. Well, at least you were drunk, so half the time you didn't really pay much attention. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> They're the fights you've actually remember seeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably a lot more of it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, so I think in the comments, me and Garvey, yeah, let us know everyone. Should Colin and Garvey do a week over here? I'll vlog it for them. I'll yeah, go around filming us. them. Just follow behind us. <laughs> it won't be hard. It'll be a very slow follow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so let us know everyone. Them. It'll be like a couple of naughty school children. Oh, gee. I don't think Dad would last more than two or three days. I think I'd he'd drag him along. Get him going again. Yeah, I'd drag him along. Well, let us know everyone in the comments. I'm going to go and get you drinks. <laughs> And uh, we'll see how you fare after this. Don't stand up yet. <laughs>
Well, the sun keeps poking out and when it does, it is extremely hot here in the Safari Center. Uh, so back to the taxi situation. I've just put in uh, going back to where we started, uh, which is uh, Royal Palm Apartments. And it's now coming up as 24 euros to uh, get back. Very interesting. So the prices are going up and down. It was only 16 to get here, but it now wants 24 to go back. So I think it's going to really vary on how busy they are and also uh, the time of day as well. What we're going to do once uh, the family have finished having their drinks and cocktails, we're going to get a normal taxi back. We'll see if there's some in the rank or if we have to wait, how long we have to wait and how much it is to get back uh, to Royal Palm where we started, where we originally got our Uber from. So we can compare the price of both, the sort of car you get. I'm not telling you whether to go with one or the other. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. It's just purely for information uh, to help you out, to help you have a good time. And uh, someone was shouting down there, I think. A bit of a weird vibe around here today. In the daytime, people shoplifting and stuff, all a bit odd. But yeah, it's just for information, just so you can see the service, see what's going on. But as you can see there by the app, definitely prices going up and down, depending on the day and how busy it is as well. So I've literally now just put it in again and it's now coming up, let me just show you, focus. It's now coming up as 20, so it's gone down by four euros in just the last, what, one minute, 30 seconds? Very strange, something to bear in mind that. I don't know why it's fluctuating that much. So if I'd have ordered it 30 seconds ago, it would have been four euros more. Very, very strange. I think if you put in your route and it comes up with a decent price, probably jump on it quite quickly. Or if it comes up with what you think is a high price, it might be worth waiting, but quite strange that. Four euros cheaper just a couple of minutes later, probably less than a couple of minutes. Okay, so all done in Harry's. Enjoyed a few cocktails in there. Well, the girls did. And uh, Colin enjoyed a few beers. We're now just going to try and get a taxi. We're going to go to the bank just in front. We'll see how, if we have to wait and how long. And uh, what, what price do you think we're going to end up with? I know you're going to see it very shortly, but it's going to be interesting. I reckon about eight euros to get back to uh, where we came from eight euros or so which is in theory 12 euros cheaper than the uber however just coming to the taxi bank now and the last taxi has just been taken so we now are going to be waiting for a taxi so it's not like the good old days in tenerife where there was taxis everywhere waiting to take you we are now going to have to wait just here for a taxi to come down see how long this takes it's currently uh 15.41 let's see how long it takes for a taxi to pull up on the gold mile Hello, Laura's sporting a little bit of merch there as well, are you? Turn it around, we've got the night strider on one. This is the little beach bag and stride on on the other. And got it a little bit dusty off the floor, like. <laughs> yeah, got the little beach bag in there, yeah. It's just a little soft uh, satchel bag. Yeah. Well, we're still waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting too long. There's taxis around. Let's see, these are also waiting here as well for a taxi. This is where your Uber, click the button, we'd walk straight down to the Uber. So it's, it's whether you want to save the money or not. It's interesting, isn't it? I didn't, I've not really explored the taxi situation because I don't normally use them. Obviously, I'm normally always driving. But for the purpose of the vlog, is this a taxi here? Yep, yeah, he's green. I think this is going to be us, or is he going to go for them? How does it work? I think we're getting it. Here you go. We've got a Dacia Logi. Let's see how much this costs. Okay, so we are now back where we started at the La Camina. A nice, easy taxi ride. The taxi was nice. It was a Dacia Logi, nice and spacious. I've got some of those myself. Uh, leather seats, nice and clean. Driver was pleasant. So not a huge difference in the ride, really. What was quite disappointing and quite shocking was the fluctuation in the price there. When we've priced it up in Safari and within 30 seconds to change from 24 to 20 that's quite a lot four euros in 30 seconds is a big jump so i think that's going to be a big issue for them that's something that i wasn't aware of i don't know if you were aware of such a big fluctuation within matters of seconds you're not talking hours not even really minutes really it was in the matter of seconds it changed 
Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that. It's a tough choice, I think, whichever you go for. Obviously, be respectful of the drivers. You do have to wear your seatbelts. You've got to uh, wear clothing as well. Obviously, be kind, be courteous. Um, they will. I've never had an issue with issue with taxis over here. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experiences. What would you go for? Are there any of you going to try Uber? I think it's a good addition in terms of having that luxury part of the service. It's nice to have something guaranteed as well. It's locked in. It's secured. But yeah, that fluctuation was quite shocking. So uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Four euros is uh, hard to come by, but easy go, isn't it? Easy come, easy go. Uh, more hard come, easy go. But for 30 seconds of refreshing your phone, four euros, big jump. So let me know your thoughts on that. And uh, I'm just gonna uh, take the uh, dog down to the beach now, give him a little walk. And then we're gonna go out to a Tandoori Hut for an Indian for dinner later on. I've gotta get the, jump on the bus to the airport. Laura's had a drink, so I'll be jumping on the bus to the airport so i'll show you a bit of the bus service as well let's let's cover it all we're going to cover the bus service going to the airport then i'll show you my car hire service so you'll have had all four options you'll have had uber normal taxi uh, you'll have had the bus service and you'll have also had a little bit of a rent a car as well so you'll have all four but yeah the main focus was on taxis and the difference between those two shocking jump there fluctuation but let me know your thoughts let's, uh, let's carry on now i'll go and take the dog down to the beach but yeah I'm a bit, uh, don't know, a bit in two minds, to be honest, with both of them. It really is a tough choice. It really is tough to sort of define the, between the two. But do let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure you'll all let your feelings be known. And if any of you have tried either of them, I want to know your experiences as well. Here we are then. This is where I walk the dog. The very, very end beach in Las Cristianas. Down there is where I film my news updates. Are you ready, Rio? You ready for a walkie? Actually, it's nice actually, you can actually walk him a little bit earlier today with it being quite overcast, not full sun. It's not too hot for him. Got a nice sea breeze as well, waves rolling in. So it's actually quite good for Rio. It being a little bit cloudy this afternoon, I get to bring him out a little bit earlier. It's currently uh, about half past four. I normally can't walk him till about half seven, eight. So it's uh, quite nice that it's about five degrees or so cooler than it would be. He's not got the sun on his back. And yeah, he loves a good rummage around here. Loves all the smells and a lot of people walk their dogs here, so he gets uh, loads of different smells. You know, I get to watch the ferries and boats coming and going. It's uh, it's nice for both of us. I get to have a wander and clear my head. You can see the kayaks heading out over there. Get to watch everything going by with the ocean. And the dog enjoys himself as well. Hey, Rio. Too busy sniffing? Too busy sniffing. I think I could drop him here. He'd just walk himself on autopilot round here. You think he knows it that well, don't you, Rio? No, he's not even listening. So, for any of you that might not know Rio, he's our little rescue dog we've had for... Uh, seven years now we've had Rio for. He's, uh, he was very, very scared when we got him. But uh, he's come a lot more sociable now, haven't you, Rio? Hey? He's, uh, he's got as soft as anything, never barks. He just has issues with other dogs sometimes. But I think as a puppy, he was trained to be quite hostile. So we, he's fine with people now, but with dogs, he still struggles. Still struggle a little bit, don't you, Rio, with your doggos? Yeah, he's a good boy. He's... Uh, He's happy. Got his big long flags on his tail. Good walkie, Rio. Hey. Yeah. But yeah, that's Rio, if you're wondering. And uh, he's called Rio because uh, the town we rescued him from, where the uh, the little dog shelter was, was uh, in El Rio here in Tenerife. So that's why he's called Rio. So walk all done. Dog is uh, just cooling off in here in the garage. Just had to make a quick stop to grab something. And then I'm gonna drop Rio off home and uh, gonna get myself on the bus to the airport. I'll show you the full bus service. And we'll uh, grab one of our cars, which is being dropped off. This is uh, one of our latest just here, the uh, T-Vox soft top, which has uh, been going quite well, very popular. It's uh, quite nice, it's a four seater convertible, which makes a bit of a difference. Most convertibles only two seaters. So these have been 
very popular on the island and ours is doing quite well as well. Isn't it, Rio? You're not allowed to ride in that one. No. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, go and drop Rio off and we'll go and jump on the bus. So, dog dropped off, just uh, listening to some music, heading down to the bus station. So, there's various different bus stations in the south, all over the island, different bus stops as well. Uh, I have got a bus card, so you get a little bit of discount, uh, but you can just pay as you go as well. So, I'll let you know how much a single journey is to the airport. You bring as much luggage as you want. I'll let you know how much that is and uh, how long it takes as well. Let me mention I'm not going to risk taking Laura to the airport because she's had a few cocktails. Uh, we don't do any risks, even if we just have a few beers. Bear in mind that the blood alcohol content uh, for drink driving over here is less than the UK. So uh, the standard over here is 0.5% uh, or 0 point, 0 0.5 and uh, the UK is 0 0.8. So you can drink a little bit less over here. Uh, you've got to drink a bit less to not be over the limit and uh, for uh, professional drivers is 0.3 uh, so do be careful with that it is much higher in the UK in the UK it's 0.8 for standard drivers 0.8 for uh, professional drivers and 0.8 for novice drivers here in Spain 0.3 for novice and 0.3 for, for professional so do bear that in mind and here we go here's our bus great timing this is the airport express this just goes straight to the airport bus number 40 and get ourselves on okay so we are on it was three euros 20 to jump on the bus without my discount i just paid for uh, the ticket in cash to show you so three euros 20 is going to take us all the way to the airport these run i think every half an hour so they're quite frequent uh, they're normally quite cool on here there is free wi-fi on them as well so this is one of your other options is to get around on the bus or you can do a bit of both there's a taxi rank right next to the bus station so you can get a, tax, uh, get a bus and then get a taxi for the rest of your journey if you want to. But yeah, I don't think that's a bad price at all. Three euros twenty all the way to the airport from Los Cristianos. When you compare that to uh, what we paid for the Uber. Okay, here we are then. So we've made it to the airport. Uh, we got on the bus at uh, 31 past and it's only literally taken 20 minutes to get here. So really good service that. I uh, do quite recommend it. I hop on it quite often. You can get a bus pass, you can get a weekly pass. You can just pay daily. You can pay per trip. But uh, for three euros uh, 20 compared to 30 euros in a taxi, I looked an Uber were crossing 66. So if it's... Uh, it's quite a saving, it really is quite a saving. So we're gonna go across and pick up uh, my rental car, which is in one of the car parks here. They're uh, gonna grab that. And uh, that is what I do over here. If you're new to the channel, uh, rent out cars where you can get them here at the airport, you can get them at your hotel, or you can get them uh, at the office in Los Cristianos. So I'll jump in the car and I'll catch up with you there. So a lot of you do ask me, oh, how does your, your system work at the airport? It's one of the quickest, most efficient ways to get a car here at the airport, but don't like to give away all of our secrets so unfortunately i don't have uh, nord vpn to protect um you know people seeing how we do things so i do keep it a little bit under wraps but uh, yeah it's dead quick and easy what we do uh, the clients love it we've done it for over 40 years now and it really does work saves all the queues and messing around once you arrive come straight out your car's waiting for you and off you go so picking up an ibiza let's see if i can spot it i think i can see it already so here we go then, got the car, that was nice and easy. Full tank as expected. Job done, so we're gonna be back off now. I'm gonna take this straight home and uh, then I'll get a shower. I mean, it looks like Laura's just message said we're off to uh, Tandoori Hut Indian for dinner tonight is where they've chosen. So I might as well bring you along with us if you do like Indian food, that's where we're off to. 
Um, if you know the channel, you know that's our favourite. We're there all the time. Oh, I should just get a ferry today, a plane as well, and just complete the whole set, shouldn't I? So we've done Uber, normal taxi, bus, and also now car rental as well. The car rental obviously varies on price, depending on what size you get, whether it's manual, automatic, where you're picking it up from as well. It's normally starting around 25 euros a day-ish, there or thereabouts. Also depends on season a little bit as well. But I will leave the link in the description if you do want to get a quote from us. Uh, the link will be down in the description. You can check us out. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been doing over here for the last uh, eight years, I think it is now. I've had the business eight years or so. But yeah, I'm going to uh, get myself back home now. I'm knackered. I've been all over the show today. And I have a little shower. I need a refresh. It's that sort of sticky weather where I've been sweating. The bus wasn't the coolest. I did manage to get a little window seat where the window was open blowing right on me. If I hadn't have had that, I'd have been sweltering. So they don't really have the air conditioned. They just have the windows open. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that as well. Would you get the bus for three euros 20 or would you get a taxi for 30? Maybe a bit less than 30, about, about 27. But at the time you add a little tip on and that, call it 30. Or would you get an Uber for 66 in one of those luxury ones? I still can't believe how much that fluctuated from 44 to 66 to, to it was like 38 when I checked earlier on in the day to come to the airport. Really is up and down that. I, th I thought it was a bit more steady than that. But yeah, right, let's get ourselves home. So we've now come out for dinner. Yeah. The uh, the ladies are a little bit, just a little bit tiddly. Yeah. <laughs> how strong cocktails did you make, Colin? Very strong. So we've gone through nearly one bottle of gin cocktails a whole yeah. big bottle of gin yeah. big one it was a big bottle that yeah yeah so i've made nice some nice sale. cocktails i think you're ready for some food i've been at the airport oh, on the bus yeah, and the, yeah. i'm hungry i'm ready to eat oh yeah yeah definitely yeah. so <laughs> does it does a cab there laura so we made some i've made some really nice cocktails for them yeah right so i'm with my wife i'm with the girl yeah. And what are you? So we're ready. Oh, yeah. Ready to eat, are we? Yeah. Are you going all out? Starters, main sides, desserts, yeah. the full no dessert. shebang. No dessert. Oh, you got our dessert. Oh, you, 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 if you there's no dessert, dessert, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk home. <laughs> right, let's head in. I'm starving. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to this. Yeah. yeah. Here it is then, Tandoori Hunt, one of our personal favourites. Got my favourite dish in here, uh, the butter chicken. And this is just off Los Cristianos beachfront. You can do the uh, $12.95 menu as well for the three courses, but I'm going all out tonight. Cheese naan, the lot. Looking forward to it. Might even end up in the iguana bar, which we like over there as well. Let's uh, head on in. We did reserve a table in advance. We did get the, uh, hopefully, a uh, sea view seat. Fingers crossed. What are you going for then, Colin? The menu is quite extensive, isn't it? I want, I want a sizzling chicken starter. Chicken tikka, right? Yeah. Then I want just a, that one. a medium, a medium curry. Do you want a super hot one or? Right. Well, you well, with the curries, you um, select which sauce you like the sound of, and then your spice. So if you like a tomatoey sauce. Oh right. So pick which sort of sauce you think sounds the nicest. You've got ones that are more peppery, nice. cream and almonds. And then you pick your spice. Oh, right, let's have a look. So, what do you normally get at home? I like it. I like gel frazzy and I like yeah, salt. Yeah. Salt. It's like voila. So, you could get gel frazzy, which is like onions, tomatoes, peppers, and then you can go for mild plus, medium, medium, medium plus. Medium. I think you should go for like vindaloo level. No, 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 <laughs> medium. I'm not like your dad, medium. Yeah, medium. you can have it's probably gel frazzy then. Yeah, medium, and I like chicken. And then you pick your, which meat you want. So you can have chicken or you can have chicken tikka. Oh, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. And I tikka. like um, the, um, what's it called? Kima. Kima rice, kima naan. Kima rice and kima naan. Yeah. What are you having, Karen? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have my papa dog. Right. Um, I do fancy the uh, onion bhaji. Yeah, they're my favourite. Nice. But I can't seem to find the sauce that I like. Which sauce is it? It's mild, but it's full of tomatoes. Right. Right. We'll ask Harry which one's going to be uh, most like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruben, Josh, and yeah. Juan. Only Miles. Yeah. Miles. Miles, you don't fancy medium plus then? No. You don't fancy medium plus. Woo! Just very mild. What are you getting, Laura? I'm going to get only parties to start and then I was going to go chicken tikka for the main but I think I might go for the curry now. I had multi last week didn't I but I think I might go for like a gel daisy or a madras. Right, I think a madras. Yeah. You should go for a madras. I think you all know what I'm going to have. My butter yeah. chicken medium. Yeah. I go for medium plus, give it a bit of oomph you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a bit of um, rice. And are you getting rice and all that? Because just so you know, I don't share, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've just said I think I might just get some chips. No, we don't share food. No. But I'll have a little bit of Colin's rice and naan. Right. Yeah, I only have a little bit over there. Okay. Yeah, so I might have a couple of chips, Laura, that's about it. Just a couple of chips. Yeah, I don't want to share my food. 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 <laughs> no. Here he is, the main man. Harry, are you ready for a big order here? Yeah, I'm ready. It's going to be a big one. As you know, I don't share, Harry. <laughs> this is my second tandoori hut in a week. I had my takeaway, and now I'm in. Well, you know, do you want? You might as well write mine down already. I don't even need to say it, do I? Go on. What we're going to have? Go on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, it's lovely, but he gives you too much food, can't eat enough. So if you could get that in England, how often would you have it? How often do you have an Indian in England? Once a month. Yeah. Once a month, but it's not as good as that. Yeah. And how much is a what do you get a takeaway? We get a takeaway and it's about forty pounds. What's that? Two curries, two rice, two yeah, sides, yeah. and then... Yeah, it's not as good as that. Um, it's not as tasty as that. Yeah. That, that's beautiful. Get the rest of the takeaway, Carl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Late no, night no. snack. <laughs> you can have it. Well, there we go. That was a nice little day. Enjoyed our tandoori hut there. We're now back home. Definitely time for bed. It's been a busy, busy day. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I hope it did help you out with a bit of transport as well. Don't forget to go and download your uh, VPN. Make sure you go and get that NordVPN link will be down in the description. It'll be pinned in the comments as well. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and uh, stride on. I'll see you very soon.